I think Jim and Gary and Diane allowing us uh, managers, supervisors to really own their part of the business. It's part of the culture that makes people want to stay. I first came back and worked for Dad. Uh, we had like 33 people working for us then. It was 1974. We turned around one day in 1977 and I thought, Jesus, I think we're running this place. As we kept expanding, we kept feeling like, look, we got to get some good help here. We always got people that were good at doing whatever it is we wanted them to do, and they would delegate to them. People started to rise to the top, and then those people eventually became our leaders of our company. They made the daily decisions. We didn't go in there and micromanage them at all. I started uh, full-time in 1969. I recently celebrated 30 years with the company. 39 years. 41 years. 33 years. Jim's always told me he's wanting leaders that want to run their department or their line or this business as if it was their own. They give you the tools that you need to be successful. The freedom. In every job that I've had, you are encouraged to take it and run with it. You are encouraged to take risks. Being given that, that authority to make decisions is different than in large corporate companies. The one thing that has always amazed me about the Coopers is the tremendous amount of trust that they place in the folks that work for them. The opportunity that the family gives you to do the job and trust you to do the job, it's enriching, it's rewarding. The management team, we could have not done it without them. They had a passion to succeed. Uh, they believed in doing things correctly, doing them right, excellence. They work well together. We know that they will make sure that things are done the right way. When you hire somebody, it's pretty easy to hire their back and hire their mind. But when it comes to you want somebody to act like a business owner, you want them to be passionate, you have to hire their spirit, right? So that typically doesn't happen with money. That has to happen with how you recognize them, what kind of latitude you give them to do what they need to do to expand their own horizons and become more than they used to be. There's been many folks that have spent their entire career with Cooper Farms. And and I think that that's something that the uh, Coopers have to be tremendously proud of. There are a lot of good people here who have been here a long, long time. It's rare in the world today. The fact that we have all these people that have worked for Cooper Farm for 30, 40 years, we have customers that we've had for 25 plus years. Well, there are so many people that have been there that long and it's unheard of. Who does that? People who work for a company that cares about them. You know, it just seems as though there's a caring about people here. You know, uh, leaders care about the team members and the team members care about the other team members and, and we're all interested in um, the same goal and the same development of people. When you're younger, it's more competitive and it's me, me, me. And the older you get, I think you start to realize it is about developing people. You pass on what you learn and, and it starts with the people at the top of the food chain. You know, they empower you, they enable you, they share with you, and you, you're, you're promoted into a position that allows you to pass on what you've learned. And it just and it goes, it goes on. The most important thing I can do is to pass along the same mentorship opportunities that I had to help develop the next generation of leaders at Cooper Farms. I can leave and I don't worry about a thing. It's my job as a leader is to teach them what I've been taught over the years. And if I don't do that to make them successful, I've not done my job. My job is for them to be successful. A good leader should try to recognize the qualities and the strength that somebody has and then bring that out in someone. Instead of forcing a square peg into a round hole because the job description said it, we play off of people's strengths here. And I think that that's really a brilliant thing that I've learned from Jim and Gary. I think you really have to be concerned about your people. That's probably the biggest thing, is they treat people the right way. We gotta look at bottom line costs and production efficiency and sustainability, but we also gotta keep in mind people. Every manager has to have a certain amount of empathy. You learn a lot more when you listen than when you talk. 
it's coming to work every day with the idea that regardless of what happens, you're going to make it the best day that it can possibly be. I think it means to do the right thing for the company. Sometimes the right decision isn't the easiest decision. Patience is to let somebody learn, maybe learn the hard way, but uh, not let them get in trouble either. They understand the family-oriented atmosphere that we want to have. It's more than just providing an answer for a question. It's, well, here's why. Spend time with them and, and to not give them answers, but to give them questions that lead them to those answers. To me, that's really how you pass on that knowledge. Everyone you come across, you learn something from and, and you grow and they kind of shape and mold you into who you are. Our company's growing. It has been growing really for the last 80 years. When I was hired, we were in a growth spurt. And so each time that that has happened, um, it has opened up new opportunities for people. Promotion from within the company is huge, and it's very much supported by the owners. There's lots of opportunity with Cooper Farm. I think it's really important to try and find people from Northwest Ohio. So if you can find the local people and develop them, you know, I, I think we've been pretty successful with that. There are literally dozens and dozens of people that have achieved success to levels that I'm sure they never thought possible. These folks that have worked their way up within the company over the many years, I think that they embody what Cooper Farms is all about. I've started out on the line. They gave me an opportunity to grow. Somebody gave me the chance. And there are so many chances at Cooper Farms. I'm the accounting manager, and I don't have a big accounting background. It's just they, they've seen me grow over the years and, and thought I could handle it. I've been with Coopers for 30 years. I started out as a turkey farm, uh, just a part-timer closing the barns. And now I'm the manager at Cooper Grain and Feed. I do not have a college education. There's not many companies would hire somebody like me to be a general production manager without a college education. As the company grew, we needed to add more people, and so I was fortunate to end up the manager over that area and just slowly grew into more responsibilities. We were those kids that everybody complained about 30 years ago, and now we're making big choices. The key to hiring the right people has everything to do with how they value people. What I'm more attracted to is a person that's going to focus on helping the team rise. I look for people who want to be a team player. I look for the guys who, they're proud of what they do, you know, he wants to come to work every day and, and be proud of achieving something, accomplishing something. We're looking for somebody that's a self-starter. Not only do they have some knowledge, some skill, but they're the kind of person that is willing to learn how to be a good customer service person. Always do more than what you're asked of. Take risks, be aggressive, and go out and uh, try to make a career for yourself. I can't think of one person who I think has ever committed to doing the right thing here that hasn't been rewarded if he stuck it out. The quality that I always look for are self-starters, uh, people that really give a damn. This is more than a job, somebody that uh, wants to be the best. To me, it's really about the people that make the company successful. I think the, the key to uh, a lot of the success that the Coopers have had it ties into how they've treated their team members over the years. The Coopers are good people. Uh, they are a great family to work for. I'm honored to work for them. And truthfully, I want to leave a legacy uh, for Cooper Farms just because of them because of the chance they've given me, the opportunities they've given me. I just want to, at the end of the day, feel like, like I've given back to Coopers as much as, as uh, they've given to me. It's been a real honor to work for these guys. You really want to do it for them. There's nothing like that. There's no motivation like that.